my dear students welcome to class 10 political science today we discuss about political parties before going to discuss about political parties i just introduced myself i am sudesh kg pgt economics jnb bishnupur manipur first we discuss overview of this chapter here we discuss very important two questions why do we need political parties and how many political parties are good for a democracy these are the very important two questions that we discuss here then the nature and working of political parties especially in our country the national and the regional parties in today's india then what is wrong with the political parties and what can be done about it this is the overview of this particular chapter then we go for objectives okay we have to learn here the meaning of political parties then we have to identify components of political parties then we try to understand the importance of political parties in a democracy in accordance with the functions performed by them then we have to understand the criteria to declare a political party whether it is a national party or a state party then we will be able to differentiate between national and state party then we try to understand the challenges faced by political parties then we try to find solution to overcome challenges and reform political parties these are the objectives of this particular chapter first we try to understand the meaning of a political party okay we know that in some areas of india especially remote areas of india the ordinary people or the less educated people may consider democracy or understand democracy that is equal to political party okay what what they see political party is the democracy okay therefore it is too important to understand the meaning of a political party a political party is a group of people who come together to contest elections and uh, hold power in the government okay context elections and uh, hold power in the government and they to they agree the political parties agree on some policies and programs for the society with a view to promote the collective good okay what they what they view what is their policies for a collective good since there can be different views on what is good for all then what the parties try parties try to persuade people why their policies are better than others okay since there can be different views we know that number of views on what is good for all then parties try to persuade people why their policies are better than others they seek to implement these policies by winning popular support through election okay they also try to implement political parties try to implement which one these policies by winning popular support through elections okay this is the meaning of the term political party okay then we just see the components of the political parties there are major three components are there first one is the leaders 
you know the leaders are there in political parties then the active members are there and the followers okay these are the three important components of a political party the leaders the active members and the followers we know that parties reflected fundamental political divisions in a society okay parties are about a part of the society and thus it involves which one partisanship okay partisan that is also we can understand by we already said that the followers is a very important component then the partisanship is also there what is a partisan a person who is strongly committed to a party so very committed very much committed to a party group or a faction partisanship is marked by a tendency to take a side and inability to take a balanced view on an issue okay if you if a particular issue you are going to a particular side of that particular issue okay you are coming to a particular side not because of your own idea but because of the stand of the particular party you believe you became a partisan okay you are you are not going to take any particular balanced view if you are a partisan of a particular party thus a party is known by which part it stands which policies it supports and whose interests it upholds okay a party is known for what what are the its policies how much support it gets and it protects whose interest that's why we can understand a particular political party Now we discuss about the functions of a political party. The first important function we know that we already discussed in the meaning contest elections. Okay, in in most democracies, elections elections are fought mainly among the candidates put up by political parties. You know that candidates are put up by political parties. parties select their candidates in different ways okay you heard about china okay one party system okay it is only the chinese communist party select members for election okay in some countries such as usa members and support of a party choose its candidates okay in usa you can see the 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 leaders or the uh, the contestants are selected by the supporters and members of the particular party in other countries like india in our country what is the system top party members or top party leaders choose candidates for contesting elections okay they choose candidates who top party leaders choose candidates for contesting elections that we can see that uh, policies and programs the second function policies and programs parties put forward different policies and programs and the voters choose from them okay we know that parties put forward which one different policies each of us may have different opinions and views on what policies are suitable for the current society okay we all have different 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 opinions okay but what is that in the government it is too difficult to handle such a large variety of views okay number of persons or number of views but all these cannot be implemented all these cannot be handled then what is there in a democracy 
a large number of similar opinions how to be grouped together to provide a direction in which in which policies can be formulated by the governments okay who is who this is what the parties do okay we can only see some some one or three or four similar type of different types of opinions okay the similar opinions are grouped together okay the, then we we in, in in these parties one party has another one opinion another party has another opinion even though the number of people are in that particular party they are united for a particular opinion you can see that we can avoid the problem of the, the views of number of persons okay this is what the parties do the party reduces vast multitude of opinions into a few basic positions which it supports you can simply understand okay party reduces what reduces vast multitude of opinions into a few basic op positions which it supports the government is expected to base its policies on the line taken by the ruling party government the government decisions are mainly depends upon which one the decision taken by the ruling party okay then we can simply understand the functions the second function is in policies and uh, programs who put forward these policies and programs political party in the democracy then uh, the third one making laws okay party play a decisive role in making laws for a country a decision making role which is played by which one political parties formally laws are debated and passed in the legislature we know that the law passing body that is legislature but since most of the members belong to a party they go by the direction of the party leadership irrespective of their personal opinions okay even though the members uh, belong to a party may have different different opinions also but they have to go for which decision that the decision taken by the party leadership okay they don't want to discuss okay they don't want to uh, go for their own experience irrespective of their own personal opinion they have to follow they have to make a law according to the decision taken by the party leadership okay you can see the important function played by the political party for making laws then fourth one form a form and run government as we noted last year the big policy decisions are taken by political executive from where this political executive comes from political executive that comes from the political parties parties recruit leaders train them and then make the ministers to run the government in the way they want okay this is like a form the political parties form and run government this is the fourth function of the political party what is the fifth one role of opposition it's a very important function those parties that lose in the elections play the role of opposition to the parties in power by voicing different views and criticizing government for its failures or wrong policies okay if there are failures wrong policies are there who will criticize who will make voice opposition parties opposition parties also mobilize opposition to the government therefore the ruling party should be very vigilant 
because 